Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending on where you're at in the world. This is Chris again, the Watch Lounge, coming at you with another video. Today's video review is a pretty special one. This is a first for the channel. Uh, my buddy Luke, I appreciate it. Shout out to you, Luke. I'll, I'll, again, I'll leave a link to his Instagram down below. Uh, Lennon, and this Hamilton Murph. It's been a while coming. Sorry, guys. It's been a little bit crazy, hectic with work and everything. But I'm going to try to get back to the videos on a regular basis, guys. Uh, quick wristwatch check. I was getting some much needed exercise, getting a little walk in. So, I figured I'd throw in the G Shop. But um, again, this is a pretty cool watch. It is most famously known as the Murph, as it was in the movie uh, Interstellar, which Matt McConaughey's character played Murph. So, a pretty cool movie about space. Um, there is a pretty cool shot in the movie where the watch kind of does like a kind of like a freezing in time kind of thing, which is I think is pretty cool. It's kind of like a movie prop watch on there. But they did re-release this as a mainstream watch to the public not too long ago. And again, it's taken, uh, it's, it's been a pretty popular watch, guys. And I can see why for the money. This is a lot of watch for the money. It retails right under $1,000. Now, you might think that's a lot of uh, expensive for a watch like this. But once you get down to the nuts and bolts of the watch, you see the, the quality, how it fits, feels. Now, one thing I will say is this is definitely a, a, a hefty watch. So for those of you that have a little bit of a smaller wrist, may not work for you but if you have a bigger wrist like mine it'll fit just fine guys though it is a pilot's watch so they are typically a little bit bigger it's not your typical kind of fleeger dial though which is kind of different and hamilton for the money has always been historically really really well built for the money especially with a swiss automatic movement in there with as they are part of the swatch group they can afford to make more affordable swiss automatic movements in there as with my TSA PRX, which you guys still need a review on that, that is coming as well, guys, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, guys, let me go to the desktop, and I will show you the watch in question. And again, here is the set watch, guys and gals. Pretty decent-sized watch. As I mentioned, it is supposed to be a pilot's watch, so they are historically a little bit bigger, guys. It is 100 meters water resistance, which is nice for a pilot's watch. I do believe it is manual wine, guys. It is a 42 millimeter watch. With, I believe, 22 millimeter lugs, 52 millimeter lug to lug distance, so it wears fairly well. There you can see that clean, kind of simplistic dial, really easy, legible to read, guys. Here is the case back with that Hamilton H10 movement. Pretty cool to see that as well. It is stainless steel. There is the crown at the 3 o'clock. And I do like the simple, clean look on the dial. You can see the Hamilton down there, and again, it is a sapphire crystal. And again, these do retail for right under $1,000, which I feel like is a pretty good price point for this watch. Hamilton has come out with a lot of bang for buck watches lately. In the last couple of years, there is a 37mm Palace watch that I have my eyes on, guys. Might end up adding that to the collection at some point. But again, overall, for the money on this watch, you really can't beat it. And Luke, I really appreciate you letting me borrow this for a little bit. Sorry it took so long to get back to you, bud. Um, let me go ahead and put it on the wrist just so you guys can see what it looks like size wise on my seven and a half inch wrist guys Again, it does take a little bit bigger wrist kind of like myself to pull it off Small wrist can hold off maybe with the NATO it'll look, look a little bit different a little bit smaller size than maybe the leather strap might kind of Add a little bit of those looks to it, but overall you can see nice hardware on the class You can see a little Hamilton logo there guys and again, this is a killer watch, especially for the money for right under $1,000. You can typically get discounts on these, so you might even be able to get them even cheaper, especially if you go second hand or used. It's definitely the way to go on these. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Have you been looking at one of these Hamilton Murphs? Do you want one? What do you think about this watch? Until the next time, peace.